Presto 5C coil making demonstration. And really, this is just any formless coil uh, can be made this way. So here we are. That's what we're going to make. And thank you very much, everybody, for getting me to 800 subs. That's awesome. So much appreciated. This is the winding rod, and you can see that it has sort of a rectangular piece that, that comes out the end, and I've got two discs that have a rectangular hole. Uh, one of them is held in place with the screw, and you can see that there is a piece of tin foil that I put down uh, before I start winding the coil. I also used a pair of calipers to space those two discs so that the coil will come out with a specific dimension to it. Um, so what you're going to see next is me inserting a piece of uh, sewing thread. So that's all that is, is this piece of thread. Um, and you can see I'm doing that right into the first turn. And so uh, I'm going to then turn this guy a little bit, and I'm going to do the second one. Okay, you can see what I've done here is... I've started, sort of started the wind. I have hooked it around the side. So you can see the wires coming out around the bottom here. And then I wound it around the rod, taped it off, and I have looped a piece of thread, just some thread right there. And all underneath of this is a strip of tin foil over the plastic. So I can actually slip the coil off once I'm done. Ah, so I'm going to turn my crank a little bit manually. And that's about where we're going to put in the second piece of thread. So let me do that. So I just inserted the second piece of thread and I pulled the leads so they're about even. And now I'm going to um, make the leads nice and neat and wrap them around each side. So wrap them around the rod, wrap them around the screw, use some strips of tape to um, sort of tie, tie them down, <clears throat> and then I can actually widen the coil. So I'll show you guys once I've cleaned up the leads. So you can see I've got the ties now sort of latched down on each side, and I can actually roll this coil and it's gonna roll onto those pieces of thread over the um, tin foil. So you can start to see it's forming right now. And uh, once I'm done, I'll be able to slide it off, remove the tin foil. Uh, well, excuse me, once I'm done, I'll be able to tie the ties first, then slide it off and remove the tin foil and then redo the ties much tighter and uh and actually set the coil and it will be done and i did use the motor for this i did not turn this by hand so i have a sewing machine motor hooked up to my coil winding machine and i did the proper number of turns for this coil okay now the coil is wound to dimension and uh I can do the ties on it, and once I do the ties, I can pull it off and show it to you guys. So let me do that. Okay, I've now done the ties on both sides. You can see that's the tie by um, the start of the coil, and that is now the tie that is by the end of the coil. So this is the end of the coil. And so now I, um, I've taken the tape off of the start here so I can unwind it. lighting is not going to be the best and also the camera is not wanting to focus on what I want it to focus on so now I can actually slip this guy off so I can unscrew this by hand it's not on super tight and that was just keeping that plate from moving so now I can pull it off sort of maybe there we go and now I can actually slip the coil off. And it's not going to unwind in the center because of that piece of tinfoil. That is what kept it from getting stuck on the plastic. 
because the plastic would definitely hold onto it, so I can just pull that out now. Maybe, probably not while holding. And there you go. So you can do a little manual shaping by hand if you need to at this point. Uh, you're gonna redo those ties to make them super tight. Um, and you know, you're gonna uh, uh, put in, epoxy it or put it in resin and dip it. And then it's, uh, you know, once it's baked or dried, it's done and ready to install. So there you go. Okay, I don't really have the time or patience to set up my tripod and, and use the other video camera, but this is the coil that I made. I'm about to put some uh, tight permanent ties on. Those were the temporary ones from when I wound it. And um, so I'm gonna, you know, I have a piece of thread already cut. I'm gonna make my initial tie and put a little tiny dab of this wood glue. So I just use regular wood glue. And I took a tear off the corner of this piece of construction paper. I'm gonna dip it into there, get a little tiny bit on. And I will put that where I need it in order to uh, make a double knot into a little bit of that glue. And that will help me to keep the first knot of that double knot nice and tight and in place so that I can make the second knot on top of it. And I'll be using tweezers to help me do that. So, um, be right back. So I've now made the first of the double knot, the first tie of the double knot, and um, it's pretty tight. And you can see I dabbed a little bit of, of wood glue on there. I'm now gonna make the second one. And this will sort of help keep everything in place when I go to make the second one and the double knot will then come out nice and tight and then I will trim the, uh, the loose ends. Okay, now that the knot is in, and in fact I made it a triple knot, um, I pulled it around to the side of the coil, as you can see, and uh, Y will become obvious when we go to install it, uh, but it's just best to have it on the side like that and literally on the side side, like you see. And right now it's gonna make it very easy for me to trim those ends with a razor blade. So. Okay, I've now removed the initial temporary tie <clears throat> extremely carefully. And I've also trimmed the ends of the new permanent tie. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And there you go. Now the second one is in and I triple tied it again, and it's nice and tight. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead now and trim the ends off and remove the original loose one and make both of the coil leads go onto the same side. Okay, there we go. So this will be just fine. Once I set it and um, I think instead of using the resin, I'm gonna epoxy this one. Um, let it try. It'll be perfect. I can install it. It'll work great. So, there you go. Ta-da! Alright, these guys are now sealed. I'll leave them to dry. And uh, once they're set, I can install them. And I'll explain why I have the leads the way I have them, like that one and that one. And those. Alright. And we'll come back to these guys 24 hours later. Here we are, the final product. This is the coil that you will see me install into the Presto 5C that I have been rebuilding in my Twitch stream series. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, anybody who hasn't, please do subscribe because the next reveal video is going to be at 825 and I will tell you guys about that soon.